Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Storm here today, back with another Black Desert video for the PlayStation 4. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the ability to craft ingots as well as plywood. This is useful for crafting things like the fishing boat or various other crafting things in the game. As you know, if you've tried, you can't craft these items until you unlock the knowledge of them. So this short quest chain is how you unlock that knowledge. Just a bit of disclosure, I was Apprentice 4 at the time of recording this video, so for the quest chain to unlock, you might need to be at least Apprentice 4 or at most Apprentice 4. So if the quest giver doesn't show up here, level up your processing skill a little bit and see if that person appears. And real quick before we begin, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert Online for the PlayStation 4, please consider subscribing. It does mean a lot to me, more Black Desert guides will be coming out, and it'll help to grow my channel. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's get started by talking with the person who's going to give us this quest. So in the background video with my little intro, we were showing you how to path on up to the quest giver. So if you're lost, we started at the Heidel stable right below the quest giver and walked up some stairs to get to her. When you get up here, make sure you have the quest enabled for gathering that shows you gathering quests. It's the icon with the little sickle. This will let you open up the quest so you can actually talk to the person and get the quest. The person you're looking for is Fisi, the workshop manager. She's going to give you a quest that's going to require you to talk to three people and then perform very simple tasks for these three people. Each time you complete one of the tasks, you're going to unlock a different knowledge of crafting. The one for heating unlocks the ability to craft ingots. The one for chopping unlocks the ability to craft plywood. So those are the two you want to do. There's an additional one for grinding that unlocks some other knowledge that, frankly, I don't know what it does. So the first one we're going to look at is for Labios, the furniture dealer, and this will unlock the ability to craft plywood. What you got to do for this one is cut down some ash trees, which are located all around the city of Heidel. If you just literally run around the area, you can cut them down. You will need an axe for this, and in order to get an axe, you can purchase one from the material vendor who's literally two people down. So just go ahead and buy an axe from him and be able to chop down the wood. Additionally, the material dealer is the one that gives you the quest for heating, so while you're there, you can pick up the quest, or you can pick it up later after you finish Labios. Entirely up to you. But yeah, ash trees are literally all over the city of Heidel. If you jump off the wall, there's one right here. Just go around and knock out a bunch of these until you get 15 ash timbers. After you get the 15 ash timber, you need to process the ash timber into ash planks. You need to get a total of three ash planks. So to do that, open up the start menu options menu and navigate over to the processing tab. From the processing tab, navigate over to the chopping icon. It's the one with the ax and click on the chopping icon. Press X in anywhere in that chopping icon. You don't need to have any knowledge to be able to do this. Click on the ash timber from your inventory, press triangle, and then press triangle one more time. This will start to chop the wood into ash planks. After you've got the three ash planks, go ahead and bring them up to Labios. Know that by default, it's going to navigate you to the quest tab for Labios. You need to go ahead and click on the chat tab. So to do that, press L1 to navigate to the chat tab, and then you'll be able to turn in the ash planks. The next NPC in this quest chain is going to unlock the ability for more advanced grinding processing abilities. For her quest, you need to gather rough stone and turn it into polished stone. You need 20 rough stone to be able to make the two polished stones that she requires. Gathering the rough stone is going to require a pickaxe, so if you don't have one in your inventory, go ahead and talk to the material vendor that you talked to a minute ago for the axe, and pick up a pickaxe. Rough stone can be mined from just about any of the rocks you see out in the open world, out in fields, anywhere really. The easiest ones closest to Heidel are going to be down in the riverbed, so literally just jump down off and into the riverbed and start mining away. Once you do have at least 20 rough stone, you can begin grinding the rough stone to create polished stone. In order to do that, navigate to the processing menu once again, Navigate over to the grinding icon, pick any one of the options in the menu, it doesn't matter, select the rough stone from your inventory, press triangle, and then press triangle one more time to begin grinding. This will start to produce polished stone. After you've produced the two polished stone that she requires, navigate back up to the NPC and turn it in the quest for your reward, the additional knowledge on grinding. The final NPC in this quest chain is going to unlock the ability to do more advanced heating processing, aka make ingots out of the various melted shards that you get from mining. In order to do his quest, you need to fill up some empty bottles and distill them. So, to fill up the empty bottles, you need empty bottles, which can be purchased from him for a very low silver cost. Go ahead and buy 10 of them, because you will need 10 for this quest. After you have the 10 bottles, navigate down to the river in Heidel, and start filling them up. This is literally the longest part of all of these quests. Sitting here, waiting for these bottles to fill up, they take 20 seconds apiece, so you're going to be there for a while. To actually start filling them, stand in the water and then press the item in your inventory. Press X on it and your character will start to fill up the empty bottle. After you've filled up the 10 bottles, you need to go ahead and process them into the distilled water. In order to do that, once again, open up the processing menu, navigate over to the heating section. From the heating section, press any of the options inside of the menu, it does not matter, and click on the empty bottles in your inventory. Press triangle once 
and then press it one more time to begin the heating of the water. This will distill the water into distilled water, at which point you can take the distilled waters back over to the NPC and turn in the bottles to complete the quest. After you complete the quest, you're going to gain the knowledge of the advanced heating and be able to turn in the entire quest chain back over to Fisi. And so now at this point, you will have the capability to craft both plywood and ingots. So just to demonstrate it, we're going to take some birch planks that I've gathered up here, show you that if I go to the chopping menu, select the birch planks, I can go ahead and craft birch plywood, as you'll see right now. Likewise, if I took some of the metal shards, some copper shards, as well as some tin melted shards, I can go ahead and heat those together using the heating menu and create a bronze ingot. So anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you to craft these two items. If it did help you, make sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel once again. It'll help to grow my channel, and a lot more Black Desert content is coming. And at any rate, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.